Hi and welcome to another PowerShell quick tip video. This one is again going to be mostly for the people that are running just Windows 10 and 11 at home or on your own Windows 10 or 11 machine if you are a server administrator. A lot of these tools are going to be super useful, um, especially if you work with Linux systems or if you use any TFTP or if you work in security. This could also be a way to enable a sandbox on your system as well. So what we've seen most recently is if we launch PowerShell 7 as administrator, we've seen how to add Windows capabilities. We're just going to wait for it to load here. Um, but we've seen get Windows capability with the online parameter. And this will give us all the different types of things that we can install, including our RSAT tools on our Windows 10 and 11 machines. But what you might have noticed is if we've done a search here, so if we do where name is like, so if we try to, let's say, to install the subsystem, um, the Linux subsystem. So if we just do a search for Linux here, we're not going to get anything. Let's say you have a version of Windows 10 or Windows 11, which I believe is professional and enterprise, which you can install Hyper-V or the, hyper, um, the hypervisor on it, you will actually notice that you won't get this either. Now you might be wondering, why am I not seeing these features that I know that I can actually install? And that's because it's actually in a slightly different spot with a different commandlet. So what we can actually do is let's just clear the screen here. What you're gonna wanna do is get Windows optional feature with still the online parameter. If we actually get that here, let me just zoom in. You can already see Hyper-V is already right there, but there are a bunch of other tools, including IIS, uh, TFTP. And if you ever wanted to see what the GUI version of this really looks like, if we go into control panel here, and we go into programs and then turn windows features on or off. This is actually what we're looking at. So here we can see the TFTP client. We can see the hypervisor. We can also see a bunch of different hyper V and we can see our subsystem for Linux. Now, one thing that you might've noticed is this one works with feature name and not name. So you will have to be a little careful with your filtering here so let's just scroll down to the bottom and let's do a get windows optional feature with the online parameter once again and let's do where feature name name is like star star and we're just going to put linux in there and let's scroll down. We can actually see our Microsoft Windows subsystem for Linux. In our case, it's disabled, which we can confirm here that it is actually disabled. What we're actually going to do is we have some of our Hyper-V management tools. We have the GUI management tools, but we don't have the Hyper-V module for Windows PowerShell. So let's go ahead and let's install that. So let's go ahead and let's look for that. So let's type in Hyper in here. Now this will actually give us quite a bunch of results and we want the specific one for PowerShell. So let's go ahead, let's add the word PowerShell in there and another star. So let's just scroll down a little bit so you guys can see all of that. Once we actually figure out that we get the exact one that we want, so we're only getting back one, what we can actually do is then pipe that to our enable dash windows optional feature. Now it does seem like it's gone off the screen here. Let's just see. Okay. And make sure that you have the online parameter. Um, so let's just see if we can get it to fix on the screen. There you go. So we have our get windows optional feature online where our feature name is like hyper V star PowerShell star. 
and we're going to pipe that to the enable windows optional feature online let's hit enter here and what that's going to do is that's going to install our hyper v management tools for the specific the module for powershell so this is just going to run this might take a few minutes we're just going to come back once it's done all right so once it's done it's going to be very very similar to the get windows capability you're going to get this little feedback here that's going to say restart needed in our case it is false um, i believe with hyper v and the subsystem for linux i believe the restart is actually needed but you will know um, by this output here whether or not you actually need to restart so that is really the other commandlet that really kind of goes hand in hand with the get windows capability but also the get windows feature which get windows feature as we saw in the last video is only available on servers but the optional feature is definitely very very good to use and if you only have access to a windows 10 or 11 box you don't have a server operating system you're not able to install that server operating system and still want to practice with powershell this is a great great commandlet to kind of practice with alongside with the get windows capability if you guys have any commandlet that you guys would like to see on these quick tip videos, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to do every single one. If it's something that's part of a specific module, just let me know in which module that we can find it. And then this way, it'll just be a little bit easier for me to find it as well as the viewers. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. Also, Hit that notification bell to be notified when that next video comes out and I will see you guys on the next video.